no question. They, they keep showing up. They'll show up and and uh, and be into it, and then we can we take steps every day. If they show up and they're not into it, then we if we just go through the motions, then their the progress is minimal. Uh, every day as a football team, we have showed up and we have been into it, and we've gotten better and better every practice. I think we're significantly better than we were when we first started camp, and I think we're better now than we were a week ago. So encouraged uh, by their effort and, and uh, you know the way they show up and, and, and ready to practice and ready to play, but we're still not ready for the game yet. But we, we, we will be. You ready to name a starter at quarterback yet? Well, I'm going to wait and visit with Coach Nord. Uh, right now, uh, I think Caleb has probably gotten more uh, reps with the ones, uh, and he did throughout the course of, of camp. Uh, you know, Sean's doing a really good job, and, uh, and we'll, I'll talk with Coach Nord. We'll look at the film and uh, from today, and then we'll make a decision and announce something uh, pretty quick. Uh, obviously, it won't be Rob Henry, and uh, it won't be Robert Marv. Uh, he's, he's still a ways away. He did. Robert did get some reps today, and uh, I believe he's going to be ready to play or, or ready to start getting ready to, to play very soon. I was was pleased with the performance that he had this morning, the little bit that he got. He was very accurate with his passes, and uh, I think he's going to be able to help our football team soon. Considering you know Caleb's gotten a lot of snaps here with the ones and looks to perhaps be the guy, just has his demeanor, his approach to anything changed, in your opinion, here over the last three or four practices? Well, obviously, you know, uh, Caleb and all the other quarterbacks, they have to do a great job of taking control of the team and being – you know the the guy that uh, uh, you know, choreographs everything that happens, and and that's really important. You know that that the presence is really important, and I think all the quarterbacks have stepped up, and, and certainly Caleb has. Uh, it was kind of novel the way it happened. You know, uh, Caleb and Sean Robinson got most of the reps throughout the the first part of camp anyway. You know, Robert Marv was was really limited, and then Rob Henry got sick, so. Those guys are not new faces to the huddle uh, for this 2011 team. They've gotten more reps with the ones probably than, than Henry and Marv have uh, in the last 20-something practices. So uh, it's you know, funny how it works out, but uh, that's you know, in our favor right now. It's probably good that it worked out that way since uh, Henry won't be available and, and Marv will just be a, probably a spare part going into the first game. Just how did Caleb look today I mean, when, he, when he was out there? I think Caleb's done a really nice job. Uh, he throws the deep ball very well, and, uh, and Marv does too. We get some nice deep balls and warm up, warm ups today. Uh, I thought he ran the offense well. I think he's doing a good job of uh, throwing the ball away you know, when, he, when he might be in trouble, or rather than making a bad decision, he's throwing the ball out of bounds. I think that's a, that's a good sign. There were a couple of times today that our that our quarterbacks, uh, you know, forced a throw on first down and, and uh, gave up a pick. You know, and you know, first down you don't have to do that. It's the last play of the game or the last play before the half, and you know, we we're in a pickle. You know, sometimes it's a little, a, a little more of a squeeze from the decision-making standpoint. But a couple times a day, we threw picks when we didn't need to. So, uh, still a lot of work to do. But I like the talent part of our football team. I like the attitude of our football team. I like the way they show up and, and ready to get it on. And they seem to have a lot of fun uh, playing the game. We just gotta uh, iron out the little wrinkles to be ready to play next Saturday. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> You're not going to yell at him in front of everybody. <laughs> How'd you think the offensive line? I think our offensive line has done very well throughout the course of camp and maybe the position on our football team that has improved the most since the first day of camp up until now. You know, Justin Kitchens being at the right tackle spot and Nick Mondek being at the right guard spot for a lot of practices now is, is starting to show. They look a lot more comfortable and a lot more grooved over there on that right side. Uh, it's an athletic offensive line. You know, Justin Kitchens can really run. Nick Mondek can really run. Uh, Schmeek is a good athlete. Peter Dry can really run. You know, Dennis Kelly is an NFL prospect. You know, so it's a talented offensive line uh, from an athletic standpoint. And, uh, I, and, play, and play well together. There's enough experience on that line, enough talent on that line for us to have an awfully good offensive line this year. I think we're much – I know we're much further along offensive line-wise than we were this time last year and maybe further along than any point in time offensive line-wise last year. So I'm really encouraged by that outfit. Just so you worked out uh... – I don't know if this is the right word, but rotation or whatever at wide receiver, what players you're, you're planning on shipping out there as you, you know, get past the, the first three? Well, we're still moving them around a little bit, but if you if you just rank our wide receivers, you know, one through six, you know, then obviously, you know, it's going to be Justin Siller and, and then Tavian Edison and O.J. Ross, and you go right on down the line, and those are the guys that, that will be in the rotation. Uh, you know, we have to figure out, you know, who our big playmakers are and have a plan to get the ball to certain guys a certain amount of times. In, in certain ways, and that'll be the game planning part of this week, and that'll be a lot of fun. Just uh, how do you just Henry's injury aside, just how do you feel going into the first week? 
I feel the same way I did last year. I think we're better in every position on our football team compared to this time last year because we have almost everyone back, and that experience is, is huge. We have a lot of talent, a lot of a lot of speed. You know, again, uh, Kyle Adams was a really good blocking tight end, and I think our tight ends right now are, are blocking really well. I like what I'm seeing out of Crosby Wright. He's a very physical uh, tight end. He's a lot like Kyle Adams. He puts his face on you. He's got some magnet about him where he can stick with his blocks. Uh, but that's the one area that we haven't proven uh, to get it done in the game yet. Uh, the same thing with our snappers and holders. They, they're doing a great job out here, but they haven't played in a real live football game yet. And we don't have anyone that's quite the same as Ryan Kerrigan, but we have some lots of other dominant players on our football team or potentially dominant players on our football team. So I think we're further along at every position on our football team compared to this time last year. And that should be easily a, a, a assessed you know, by the media and the fans if it just looks the same guys and a lot of them had zero game experience. And a lot of those guys were right out of high school. And they've been in the program now. They've played in a lot of games. So we're very op op uh, optimistic about where we're at and the potential that we have as a football team in spite of losing uh, Rob Henry. Other than uh, Henry Johnson and Roberts, you feel pretty good about uh, the health of your team going into this final I, th I think so. I'm still concerned about Gabe Holmes. You know, he's got a hamstring, and sometimes those can be tricky. And he's been doing some running and working with the, the sports medicine staff. And they say they think he's going to be okay, but he hasn't practiced, you know, probably in over a week now. And then I think Bruce Gasson will be okay, but he's missed a couple practices with a sore back. But uh, I think that's all we have. We had eight guys that were out today, and uh, I think the majority of those guys uh, will be back. You know, obviously Gavin Roberts uh, won't be back, uh, you know, for a while, and Rob Henry won't be back uh, for a while. But most of the guys that we had out today are guys that I think will all be ready to go uh, when we get back out here on Tuesday. When you uh, talked about Rob the other day, there was uh, Rob Henry. Okay. Uh, we, 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 <laughs> go know, we go through that a lot around here too. I can't believe that. No more quarterbacks named Rob. I mean, there was, you left okay. a little bit of, uh, I guess, open. I mean, is he is he is he done for the year for sure? I don't want to say that. You know, okay. until they've had time for the swelling to go down and. And, uh, and they're sure exactly, you know, where it's at and what the procedures are going to be. Uh, you know, he has a, a, a torn ACL, and odds are he's done for the season. But, again, you know, time will tell. Okay. Hey.